Yo, what's up? I'm Ben. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you something I am personally very excited about. A one-step home assistant installer for the Raspberry Pi. Let's get to it. If you've been around this channel before, you know I'm a big fan of Home Assistant. It's free home automation software that runs on a lot of different devices. I prefer running it on a Raspberry Pi because I think it's the easiest and cheapest way to get started with it. Thanks to an awesome new fabric script that was released this week by JBags81, installing Home Assistant has never been easier. Let me show you how. The first thing we'll need to do is to add an operating system onto a Raspberry Pi. You can download the Raspbian disk image off the Raspberry Pi website. Then use an application like Win32 Disk Imager and burn that disk image onto an SD card. Once completed, remove the SD card from your computer and put it into your Raspberry Pi. Next, open your web browser and navigate to the Home Assistant website. Under the Getting Started tab, you'll see the link for the Raspberry Pi all-in-one installer. This page contains additional information about how to use the installer. Under Step 2, you'll see the command you'll need to paste into PuTTY to start the installer script. Open PuTTY and log into your Pi. Before running the script, I'll change a couple of the default settings on the operating system. First, I'll select Expand File System. Then, I'll change the user password for the Pi account. I also like to overclock my Pi, so I'll select that setting now. And, last but not least, I'll select the right time zone for my location. Once done, I'll select Finish and restart my Pi. Once restarted, I can reinitiate the PuTTY console by clicking in the top left corner and selecting Restart Session. Shout out to Peter Stothers who passed that tip along to me. Now, log back into your Pi and then right click to paste the command to start the installer script that we copied earlier. Now, before you hit enter, you actually have a choice here. If you add the flag dash in, like this, I think it's called a flag. You can choose whether or not you want to install Home Assistant in a virtual environment or not. If you don't add the dash in flag to the install command, Home Assistant by default will install in a virtual environment. But what the heck is a virtual environment? As you may or may not know, Home Assistant runs on Python, but so do a lot of other applications on your Pi. These applications and Home Assistant share Python packages, which normally isn't a big deal unless that Python package updates. If an application supports that Python package's update, it'll go ahead and install it, even if Home Assistant's not ready for it. This can cause undesirable effects in Home Assistant, or even outright break it. So, what can you do? Well, you can install Home Assistant in a virtual environment. A virtual environment is basically a box that Home Assistant will run in. Home Assistant will download and manage the dependencies that it needs, outside of the other applications that are running on your system. This is why a virtual environment is great. It prevents other applications from breaking Home Assistant. I think that's what a virtual environment is. It's basically a box that Home Assistant runs in that other applications can't touch, or something like that. I don't know. So unless you have a specific reason not to, I would install Home Assistant in a virtual environment. It's going to make it a lot more reliable. So just run the command as is. So just add the command as. Just run the command as is, and don't add that dash in flag. After you decide what you want to do, press enter to start the installer script. After about 10 minutes, it'll prompt you to type in the user password for the Pi account. From there, the script will run until it's finished. As a fair warning, this can take a really long time. And by a really long time, I mean like a million years. For this video, I'm installing Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi 2. If you're using a Raspberry Pi 3, it'll probably go a little faster. And if you're using a Raspberry Pi 1, you'll probably just want to, I don't know, buy a new Pi.
Once finished, it should restart your Raspberry Pi. After the reboot, you can connect to Home Assistant by opening your web browser and typing in the IP address for your Pi at port 8123. The user interface should show up. Now, let me show you how to change your Home Assistant configuration files. Open WinSCP and under File Protocols, select SCP. Then, type in the IP address for your Pi at port 22. Type in your username and password, and then click Advanced. Under Environment SCP forward slash shell, select sudo su dash under the shell dropdown. You can save this configuration so you don't have to remember it for next time. Then click Log In. Once logged in, you can find your Home Assistant configuration files under Home forward slash has. Select the configuration.yaml file and change it however you'd like. Click Save and then Restart Home Assistant. For more information about how to change your Home Assistant configuration, check my previous video linked here. An even easier way to access your Home Assistant configuration files is to set up a Samba share. To do this, log into PuTTY and then type sudo apt-get install samba. Once complete, you can change the samba configuration by typing sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash samba forward slash smb dot conf. Press and hold control K to clear the default configuration. Then copy the configuration I have in the video description below. This will link to the default home assistant configuration location on your Pi. Right click to paste that into PuTTY. To save the configuration, press Ctrl X and then press Y and enter. Next, create a Samba user password by typing sudo smbpasswd-a pi and then typing a password for that user. Because I'm only using this internally, I'm not too worried about security and I just use the pi account information. Next, you can restart the Samba service by typing sudo service smbd restart. Now, if you open up your network devices, you should be able to access your Pi. You might need to right click and select refresh for your Pi to show up. Now, you can navigate to the Home Assistant folder and access your configuration. No need for PuTTY or WinSCP. Ta-da! The last thing I want to show you is how to upgrade Home Assistant when running in a virtual environment. First, open PuTTY and log into the Pi user account. Then. Change to the Hass user account by typing the commands on the screen or in the description below. Next, change to the virtual environment source. And last but not least, type the command to upgrade Home Assistant. And that's it. So I hope this video helps you guys if you're just getting started with Home Assistant. This is a super easy way to install it on a Raspberry Pi. And this fabric strip does some really cool things that would be difficult to do if you're just getting started, like creating a virtual environment and service accounts and installing Mosquito and Open Z-Wave, etc. If you have any questions or comments or get stuck, let me know in the comments below. Also, check out the Home Assistant website linked below. Like I've said before, there's some great people there that would be happy to help you too. And by the way, we hit 500 subscribers this week. That's crazy. I didn't know so many of you guys would be interested in this stuff. Thanks so much for all the video suggestions. I'm going to do my best to get those out as quickly as I can. If you have any questions before that, hit me up. You know the drill. Happy automating. Cheers.